I don't do a lot of the science. I'm not good at science. I was always over subject. I'm more of an English and math person. But my basic thing, like, I teach family and consumer sciences, and we have a bunch of different acronyms for FCCLA and FCS in all of my classes. But if I could change the name of my classes, I would call it how to be an adult once you leave high school. Like he's preparing you for college and they're preparing you for real, like for employment and a lot of FCCLA prepares you for employment like the star events that they do. Um, they can do job interview, they can do recycle and redesign, which is a really cool project. Um, Marissa's looking at doing a sports nutrition thing where she's gonna follow Brigitte around and like look at the sports she does and learn how to make certain meal plans for her and different workout regimes for them. And so we do a lot of early childhood dedication too. Yeah. If she hasn't told you, by the way, she's looking at it. Um, but we do a lot of early childhood education, too. Eventually, I want to get to culinary arts, but I figured with it being my first year, it'd be a little harder to kind of start off on that. But um, so most of my classes, I really just want them to be able to function when they leave school. So like our nutrition class, we're learning all the different nutrients and how to cook, kind of basically how to cook. And we're learning the different like diets and what to stay away from so they can eat healthy once they leave school and have like without getting kind of crazy they can eat generally healthy and exercise moderately unless they want to do more but um, so that's what we're doing in that we're recognizing bad diets child development we're looking at the nutrition and growth of children and we've already been through the entire pregnancy stages like scarred them right out of the box. <laughs> um, but I did make them do a project that how a child changes your life. Like I made them write down their schedule from like a 24 hour schedule and they had to go and rewrite their schedule on how it would change if they had a kid right now. And most of them came back and said, Miss Casey, I would never get any sleep and I would never get any homework done. Like, okay, good. You get that. <laughs> so um, I have a family and community services class. That is that was kind of a new one for me because I never took that in high school and I hadn't done a lot with it. But we're doing a lot of cool stuff. We've done a lot of uh, things on leadership and teamwork and with our kind of thing being leadership this year, we've painted both of the girls' bathrooms so far. So they have a bunch of really like inspirational quotes. If y'all ever go over to the high school, go look at the bathrooms. They're really cool. We just started the boys' bathroom today. Makes me really glad that my brother was a fairly clean teenager boy. <laughs> yeah, we walked in the first day to look at the bathrooms and the girls were just looking around like, oh my god, this is, oh. <laughs> We've got a lot of Germans. Um, so we're doing that. We are doing teamwork and leadership things. They're planning a, fi or a fun run in December that we're going to make cookies for so they can have a cookie decorating station. And basically, if anybody in the school needs any kind of community service thing done, they can come to us and ask and we'll work it into our thing. We'll figure out how it fits into one of our lessons. Um, Principles of Human Services, it's kind of like an intro into all of the other classes I teach, but it also it takes a look at all the different um, like human service areas of careers. And so they've learned, they've gone through everything from being a tutor to being I remember, a psychiatrist to owning a daycare. And so they've looked at a lot of different things like that. Um, our dollars and cents class, I'm trying to teach them to not blow their money to save it. I'm looking at starting the Dave Ramsey course because that is one of the things that I remember most about being in high school is that Miss Brown made us do the Dave Ramsey thing and I still remember most of the things that we learned in it and it's really helpful. So, and I know a few people that are in their late 20s that have done that and they are completely debt free. They both graduated college, have a house, have cars and I, it's magical. If I could make myself stick to it as well as that guy that I know that could, I would be great. But, um, so those are just some of the things. As far as certifications, I'm not doing any this year, but I want to eventually do one for culinary, and I want to be able to get them some kind of certified for child development so they could, like, for Nicola has the thing, they could go work with her. Since I know we're kind of short on child daycare and things around town so whenever they get out of school they could go work for one of the daycares or they could even look at starting their own daycare and things like that but we're doing a lot of community service with FCCLA too we're doing the helping hands like normal um, we're doing a food drive in Thanksgiving and we have three officers that want to run for office or three kids that want to run for office so they're gonna have to run amongst each other before they get to go to see if they get to go to nationals and everything this summer Thank you.